Hey, Sammy fam. So I live across the street from the projects and a trap house next door. And I see a lot of crazy, weird, sad, and funny stuff going on. From grandpas fighting in the street to grandmas fighting in the street. It runs the gamut. But the other night, there was this insane drama playing out on the sidewalk across the street. It starts with this guy and he's been kind of like yelling all night but he sounds like happy and messed up on drugs and alcohol he's barking like a dog he's having a good time with his friends and we just think it's kind of funny my wife and i you know peek out the window at it but it's no big deal about an hour later it takes a turn for the worst he starts screaming about how his ex-wife doesn't love him no more and she's there. She's in the trap house. And he's going, you don't love me no more. You don't love me no more. And she's saying, go home. Go home. And he's like grunting and getting mad. And he's crying and screaming. Do you love me? You don't love me no more. And she goes inside. And my wife and I decide, we're like, we got to go to the window. We got to watch this. This man is now laying on the sidewalk. And he's got, like, his buddy there with him who's trying to pick him up and, like, drag him inside. And Mommy comes out from next door. And she's standing on her front steps saying, like, oh, he needs a hospital. He needs a hospital. <laughs> and I, we hear sirens and we're like, oh, is that the cops coming for him? Is that the ambulance coming for him? And it was. The ambulance pulls up. And... The friend of the guy who's messed up on drugs is like angry at the paramedics immediately yelling, don't touch him, don't touch him, don't touch him. Like, you, don't, you don't need to take him, you don't need to take him. And lady next door is out on the steps saying, no, he needs a hospital, he needs to go to a hospital. <laughs> but the buddy managed to get the guy like onto private property. He drags him up behind his front gate and like closes it and says like, no, you can't come up in here, it's private property. So they say, like, they're going to call the cops. So the uh, friend immediately gets the backpack off his buddy and runs it inside the house real quick, you know. Who knows what might have been inside there. And comes back, and he, like, presses his buddy up against the fence. It's like holding him upright like it's completely normal until the cops get there. And the cops walk up, and the guy starts filming. And the cop pulls out, like, a giant... The flashlight and is like checking all the windows on the building and stuff and the guy's yelling at him like back up back up no you can't come on my property back up don't touch him and we're like oh how is this gonna end like hopefully nothing bad happens but at the same time my wife says wait look at that cat going through there that's a big ass cat <laughs> and then she's like oh my god that's a raccoon and like just right behind the cops and the guy like yelling at each other they're trying to get him to come out so they can put him on a gurney and take him to the hospital they're just a raccoon just walks by him past them past the trash cans and down the block and goes and hides under a car just like a couple houses down nobody but us noticed and the paramedics start to just like give up and start packing them all their stuff up i guess like legally they can't force the guy to come with them and the cops just kind of shrugged and were like, well, okay, we'll, we'll leave too then. I guess, you know, there's not really a crime being committed here. And as the cops are leaving for some reason, somebody comes out from the projects and starts screaming at the drunk guy. I don't know if it was a related beef, a separate beef, but now they start stumbling down the block together, pushing each other, and they fall against the car that has the raccoon hiding under it. Like, so I am watching, you know, eyes wide open, thinking, is this raccoon about to jump out and, like, be the third person in this fight and take them both out? But no, a lady now comes across the street, and they've all started yelling at each other about, like, sucking each other's dicks and calling each other names. I don't, I don't know the backstory here, you know? I'm just watching this play out from afar. And eventually the guy just kind of petered out, you know? He had no more energy, and he passed back out and the block was quiet for the rest of the night. It's pretty weird.